Hey there, it's Kelly Key, and it's approximately about 7 o'clock in the morning here in Detroit, Michigan. And I am out, of course, as you can see, I need to cut my hedges a little bit. And I've been kind of tapering off with learning a little bit more about, like, photo editing. So I was out earlier this morning, and I was looking at just how to pruning the rose, or I wanted to learn a little bit more about pruning the rose bushes that my mother planted in our front yard. And she has two different types of rose bushes, or two of the same rose bushes right out in front of the house. There are two other types of roses, and then in the backyard there are red roses, and then there's a white rose. So now I'm learning how to get the rose bush to climb. So currently there's a lot of spiders that are in that area, so it's causing the rose bushes to not really grow healthy to figure out how to change that because I don't want to move it from the area that it's actually in. But the other thing that I was looking at was just the different types of roses. So I went on gardening know-how the information is about a rose. A rose is just a rose, or is it? There are many rose varieties, and caring for roses depends on the type you have and climate you live in. So before you go planting a rose, but keep in mind what variety you are growing. How to grow roses successfully will mean providing good rose care. And they're going on to say that they can help you with that. And so what I was really looking for is, and this is the one interesting article, it says that should you use Epsom salt for rose bushes? Many gardeners swear by Epsom salt rose fertilizer for greener leaves, more growth, and increased blooming. While the benefits of Epsom salt as a fertilizer for any plants remain unproven by science, there is little harm in trying as long as you do it right. You can experiment with using this mineral as a fertilizer throughout the garden. Does Epsom salt help roses? Epsom salt is a form of a mineral magnesium sulfate. It's a common product you'll find in any drugstore. Many people soak in it for relief for muscle aches and soreness. The name comes from the town of Epsom in England, where the mineral was first found. As for garden, Epsom salts may be beneficial to plants because magnesium and sulfur are both trace nutrients, and deficiency in either of these nutrients can help a plant grow better. Specifically, salt is needed for proteins while magnesium promotes chlorophyll production and photosynthesis seed germination and nutrient uptake. Now it says that Epsom salt for rose bushes may not be something you've tried before, so be careful in following the guidelines for a rose garden. Experience with the use of this mineral. Getting too much of the solution of Epsom salts on leaves, for instance, may cause scorching. 